Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Cornish Watch Reviews. It's been a long time without what doing a watch review, so here we come. And I've got a beauty for you today. This watch was actually handmade for me by a subscriber by the name of Troy Nasillo. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It came with a lovely rubber strap with it. I don't like rubber straps, but I really like this rubber strap. It fits perfectly and it's so comfortable. It's on a NATO at the moment, the watch is. There you go, it's on a what? It's on a NATO. And a lovely leather NATO strap. The stand was kindly given to me by Paul over at Time in the UK. He's a very skillful plumber and so give him some love. If you want any plumbing doing, go call Paul. That's if you're local to where he lives, and I don't know where he lives, but you can look on the website for that, his website for that. There you go, so I think his son actually made this one for me. It's um, copper pipes, copper elbows, all stuck together to make this amazing watch stand. I'm really pleased with it. So thank you, Paul's son, if you're watching. I do appreciate it. I use it a hell of a lot. It reminds me very much of an instrument I used to play. <laughs> right, let's get back to the to the um, actual review of this watch that Troy Nasillo or Natillo, to Nasilio, I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, Troy. Made for me. It came all the way from the good old US of A, uh, a little place called Alexandria. Um, he actually gave me a T-shirt as well, which I'll put up a shot in a minute, or probably at the end of the video, or I might even do it at the beginning of the video, showing the bundle that arrived. So Troy, thank you ever so much. I've had it now for about 18 days, I suppose. Got to know the watch very well. The loom on it is absolutely sublime. I'll go into the specs. There's a lot of specs on this particular watch. And then we can have a good close-up look at it. It's an absolute peach of a watch. I am so pleased with it. It's not been off my wrist since I've had it. I'm so pleased. Right, first of all. It's a PV, PVC coated 316L stainless steel case, case back bezel, and a Seiko signed crown. Well, they all come from crystaltimes.com. It's a hi hat boxed sapphire crystal, 3.5 millimeters thick, with blue anti, -refl anti reflective coating. The coating on it is just incredible. Uh, think of a really, really high end branded pair of glasses and you look at it and you got that lovely purpley blue glint on it in the sun it's amazing absolutely fantastic uh black might black matte pilot style so obviously it's a it's a pilot hump pilot homage it's um yeah there's a couple of scratches on the dial but i ain't going to worry about that because that's he, neither here nor there that's actually on the dial inside but you can't really see them I'm just reading Troy's notes as he gave them to me. Um, here we go. It's got a brand new NH35 Seiko movement in it. So 26, one, 26 uh, 100 beats vibrations per hour in there. Yeah, 21600, I've got that. Uh, black date disc. The date disc was white before and Troy didn't like that. So he's changed it over to a black one, which is absolutely brilliant. He set it up to about plus four seconds a day. I'm getting anywhere between plus two and plus three seconds a day. In fact, I've only had to alter it once. I mean, so that's, and that was me just being a little bit finicky. It's it's such a beautiful watch, it really is. Um, he done the hands differently on it because he wasn't very happy with the hands. So he's actually re-loomed them himself. I don't know how many coats of loom he's put on it, but my God. God, it just glows like a sun. It absolutely does. Really, I wish I remembered to bring down my black light to show you. Darn it. Oh, well, never mind. Perhaps I'll do that in another video. Just show you the loom on this one. It is absolutely incredible. He's put all new seals in it. And it's rated at 200 meters water resistance. As long as the screw down crown is put down really tight. Now, I don't know how, how large of a man this Troy is. But I'm not a small man. I'm six foot three and I'm a big old boy. I had one hell of a job unscrewing this screw down crown. <laughs> Whether he put it in, <laughs> it wraps it up in a piece of paper, really reamed it up to post it, I don't know. But my God, Troy, he's a man who likes his beef. Hell. <laughs> yeah, all the seals have got silicon grease put in there. 
including all of the three gaskets on the crown and the crown stem. Uh, the, the case back gasket is new and is all been geared with silicon. So, I mean, you can't ask for better than that, can you? That's like having a brand new watch made for you, which this is, put together professionally and not scrimped with any silicon. I mean, that silicon, uh, silicon oil or silicon grease, I should say. Amazing stuff. It really is. He's told me not to give it away or sell it, and I never will. This will be in my family long, long after I'm gone. In fact, my oldest son has already had his eyes on it. And of all my watch collection, this is the one he says, Dad, can I have that one? And I told him, no, you're not having it until I'm no longer here. And then I don't know what, you know, I don't mind what you can do with it. As long as you don't sell it, keep it in the family. The other ones, do as you wish with. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to read through um, all of this. I mean, Troy wrote me a, a good old booklet here about it. And there's no way I would be able to read it. And this is the only video I've ever done where I've had any form of like notes to go by at all. Um, here we go. Yeah, he said it for local time. Uh, when it arrived, Troy, it was still working. No problem at all. It was still working. Uh, have fun with it. Yes, I certainly have done. Uh, now, the watch straps that are on it. The NATO is what I personally like on it. It's a lovely NATO strap, it really is. I mean, look at that dial. Look at the blue on it. It's just insane. We'll get into that in a moment. You're gonna to have to wait a bit longer, guys and girls, before you see this one, probably. Now, the rubber strap. I don't like rubber straps, and Troy said that, but this, I don't know what it is. This is an absolute belter. It's so comfy. It gave me, give me like, you know, the uh, spring bars in it as well, look. Look at that. I won't change it over now because it's a little bit fiddly to do on camera. Press steel. Don't worry about that. It is so comfortable. I think this was the favourite strap that Troy said he used to wear it on. And Troy, I can see why. It is so comfortable. It wears really well. You know, some watches when you put them on a strap like that, they can feel a bit top heavy. This one, none of it. Blooming lovely. And then this leather NATO. This is my first ever leather NATO. I've tried it on, I've used it a couple of times, but at the moment we've had quite a bit of sun around. Uh, so I've gone back onto the uh, the, you know, the normal canvas NATO. It's a lovely strap, it's really, really soft and supple. I mean, look at it, look, it's a beautiful thing. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Okay, there's the uh, watch stand that was given to me, as I say, from Paul at Time in the UK. Lovely bit of kit, it really is. Takes pride of place that does on my bedroom dressing table with three watches on there. I suppose I could put four, maybe five on it, but three, it looks absolutely brilliant. And if you don't like it that way around, you can always put it that way around. Get it the right way around, Ted, come on. And you could put a couple on there as well. It's not quite as stable, but you get the idea. It's just fantastic. So pleased with it. So thanks again for that, Paul. Right, let's get on to, the, to this watch now. Look at that. You can see what I mean about the uh, the amount of loom that's on those those hands. It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. What I like about it as well is, you know the Seacoast, very often the bezel don't line up. Well, listen to this. It's a friction bezel. So you can line it up, it's very difficult to see through a viewfinder, but you can line it up exactly on the 12. It's just got just the right amount of resistance that if you set it, it doesn't move. I don't know how he's done it, I really don't. I really don't know how he's done that, but it's an absolute corker, it really is. Beautiful dial on it. It's uh, my first actual proper pilot's watch, well dial-wise anyway. It's a pilot cum, diving watch, everyday watch, posh watch. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful watch. It really is. Drilled lugs. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but there's drilled lugs there to make the strap easier. He even put Seiko Fatboy pins in it. And it fits just beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Nice case back. 
completely unbranded. I like that. I do like that. And there's the, I don't know if you can see it, there's the S, the Seiko logo on the screw down crown. All the functions are the NH35. You can tell it's a C, it's Seiko or Seiko based, but that's about as far as it goes with it, isn't it? I'm absolutely made up with it. Look at the shine on it. You can, you can see my old chops there. Look, hello. Right, I'll give you a wrist shot in a minute. Oh, it does not the camera. So not that easy to do neither. But here we go. I'll just put it on that one, I think. No, I'll do it properly. L to it. I ain't gonna mess about. I'll do it properly. There we go. There's the wrist shot. And that's on my seven inch wrist. So comfortable, absolutely beautiful bit of craftsmanship as well. Right, everyone, thank you very much. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping your sanity at these troubled times. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back shortly. Take care. Thank you. Bye.